Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and also occasionally some other days. And I'm also a streamer over on Twitch. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Ian Forbes. And Ian wanted me to watch The Perks of Being a Wallflower. As per usual, I have absolutely no idea what this movie is about, but nonetheless, I am excited to watch it. So, thank you so much to Ian for subscribing subscribing at that tier on Patreon, and I hope you specifically like this reaction. So I guess with that, let's get started. If you're here watching this right now, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching. And for those of you over on Patreon, I also do appreciate you guys over there as well. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so very much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all of the full unedited reactions and the access to the polls. If you wanted to watch the full unedited version of this video, or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a poll Patreon tier as well, and that is $2 a month for that. Again, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this film, not even sure if it's going to be a happy feel-good movie or a very sad movie and I'm going to cry. I have absolutely no idea, so I'm excited to watch this. So let's get started, I really do hope you guys like this reaction, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy! Tomorrow is my first day of high school ever, and I need to turn things around. Oh wow. As I enter the school for the first time, I will visualize what it will be like on the last day of my senior year. Unfortunately, I counted and that's... Oh, wow. 1,385 days from now. Yeah. One senior decided to make fun of the teacher instead of the freshman. Oh my god. And you know what happened? That prick bunch oh, killed my no. best Oh Simon. no, oh no, oh no. Are you proud to be a senior? Have oh, you take freshman shot? Patty Ooh. cakes? Look, my name is Patrick. Either you call me Patrick or you call me nothing. Okay. Oh, nothing. Wow. Uh <laughs> nice trapper keeper. Oh! Oh my god. Wow, what a bitch. All right. Well, you can skip the quiz if you tell me which author invented the paperback book. The author is Charles Dickens. <laughs> Wow. Smart cookie. Okay. Why didn't you raise your hand? They call you the teacher's pet freak. That kind of thing. High school kids are mean. They're annoying. <laughs> he like looks like a freshman student, but he also just doesn't. You know what I mean? Like it's just that weird in between. Oh, ew. If my parents ask me about it, I probably won't tell them the truth because I don't want them to worry that I might get bad again. Oh. Freshman year is tough, but you really find yourself. Freshman year sucked ass. <laughs> All of high school did, but freshman year was terrible. I really hope you love the next tape I, I made. I do. Hey, Charlie, do you want this? <laughs> Are you sure? This next one might be a little sad, but it reminded me of your eyes. See, I'm the person who would be friends with him. That's the thing, you know? Right, come on, open! Hey, nothing, hey, nothing. Oh, uh, suck it, virginity pledges. <laughs> suck it. What? You want to sit over here, or are you waiting for your friends? Uh, no, 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 I'll sit. Oh. Do you like football? Love it. Love football. Maybe you know my brother, then. Hey, Sam. Question. Could the bathrooms here be more disgusting? Mm, yes. <laughs> they call it the men's room. Who's this? This is... Charlie uh, Kalmeckis. Kalmeckis? No, shit. Your sister's dating Ponytail Derek, isn't yeah. she? Is Ponytail Derek. You leave. So what are you going to do when you get out of this place? Well, my Aunt Helen said I should be a writer, but I don't know what I'd write about. You could write about us. Yeah. Call it Slut and the Falcon. <laughs> Make us solve crimes. You guys seem really happy together. How long have you been boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> I don't think boyfriend. so. He's my stepbrother. My mom oh! Left. Hey, he made some friends. That's pretty good. Took a little bit, unfortunately, because everyone's a piece of shit in high school. But, you know, he got someone. Every single time! Shut up, there, Candace! You just stand there like a little bitch dog. Oh! Darling, oh. 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 just, just, just go. I can handle it. Just, just don't wake up mom and dad. Oh, hell no. Oh my god, I would rip that man by his ponytail, I swear to god. But you guys dress so nice. Oh no. Oh, this could be sad. Okay. 
He's never hit me before, and I oh. promise you, he will never hit me again. Like Aunt Helen's boyfriends? Oh my god. Okay, groove it. Let's go. Oh, oh that was cute. I like that. <laughs> meet ladies. Hey, uh, Mary Elizabeth. Alice. Nice to meet you. You look like you could use a brown. Oh. Thank you. I was so hungry at the dance. I was going to go to King's, but I didn't really have any time. Oh Thanks. no! Goodbye, Charlie. It's gonna be a really good brownie. You guys felt this carpet? <laughs> this carpet. Was so Bob, so did you place. get him stoned? How do you feel, Charlie? I just really want a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing you've never been high before. No. Uh, uh, no, no, no. My best friend Michael, his dad was a big drinker, so he hated all that stuff. Well, where is Michael tonight? Oh, he shot himself last May. Um. Kind of wished he left a note, you know what I mean? Oh, no. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. Charlie. How was that, kid? Relax. Relax, he's a friend of mine. Stay here. Love it. Love it. I love it. Are you baked? Like a cake. <laughs> like That's a Boston. cake. I need you to promise that you're not going to say anything to anyone about me and Brad. Okay? This has to be our little secret. Have a little secret. Agreed. Oh, no, Charlie. Raise your glasses to Charlie. What did I do? You didn't <laughs> do anything. We just want to toast our new friend. Oh. You see things and you understand. You're a wallflower. <laughs> What is it? What's wrong? I didn't think anyone noticed me. Oh, that's so sad. No. To Charlie. <laughs> to Charlie. Oh, how nice. Oh my God, what is this song? Right, I have no idea. Patrick, we've got to go through the tunnel. Damn it. Patrick, it's the perfect song. What is she doing? Oh uh, God. My favorite time, though, is lunch because I get to see Sam and Patrick. Her best friend, Alice, loves vampires and wants to go to film school. She also steals jeans from the mall. I don't know why, because her family's rich, but I'm trying not to be judgmental, especially since I know that they were all there for Patrick last year. Patrick never likes to be serious, so it took me a while to get what happened. Oh, no, what? When he was a junior, Patrick started seeing Brad on the weekends in secret. I guess it was hard, too, because Brad had to get drunk every time they fooled around. Uh, and Monday in school. This went on for seven months. Uh, when they finally did it, Brad said he loved Patrick. Patrick was eventually able to help Brad get sober. I asked Patrick if he felt sad that he still had to keep it a secret, and he said no, because at least now Brad doesn't have to get drunk to love him. Man, that's heavy stuff. Jesus. Rocky! I can't hear you! Rocky Horror Picture Show is another thing I have to watch. He's perfect for that role, actually. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm really liking this so far. I got my SAT results back. Oops. You can take them again, you know? I said he suck. I'll help you study for the next one. Oh, They're cute. Oh no! That sucks. I thought that was him. I got bamboozled. So, uh, Sam tells me you want to be a writer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you write poetry, Craig? Poetry... writes me. Ugh. Uh, shut up. What's his name? Craig? Ugh. Poetry writes me. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why do nice people choose the wrong people to date? We accept the love we think we deserve. 
Can we make them know that they deserve more? We can try. That's a good point. Didn't even think of it that way. Good job, Paul Rudd. You, uh, you want to start work on uh, probability and statistics? Yeah, sure. Mm. And all of a sudden, it's a Christmas movie! Hey! Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. If you fail me, you get me next laughter. Oh my god. Guys, 1210. What? Yay! Yay, I'm glad. He helped. This collection of presents is so gay that I think I must have given them to myself. <laughs> despite that, just Charlie. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Your last present is on a towel rack in the bathroom. Delve into our facilities. Emerge a star. Okay, I love him. <laughs> oh. All right, Charlie. Charlie! Charlie! I'm so glad he has friends. I love this. Oh, look how handsome he is. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God, he's so gorgeous. Open it. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Wait, no, my heart. You've never had a girlfriend? No. Nope. Have you ever kissed a girl? No. What about you? Have I ever kissed a girl? <laughs> no, no, your first kiss. I was 11. His name was Robert. He used to uh, come over to the house all the time. Was he your first boyfriend? He's my dad's boss. And uh, um, he wasted all the time. Mm, mm, mm. Now I feel like no, I have a chance. Like I, I could even get into a real college. Well, it's true. You can do it. You really think so? Yes, you can do it. My aunt had that same thing done to her too. No. And she turned her life around. She was my favorite person in the world until now. Charlie, I know that you know I like Craig. I want to forget about that for a minute, okay? I just want to make sure that the first person who kisses you loves you, okay? Forget about Craig. He's a wiener. You know, I'm sad now, all right? Forget about Craig forever. Not even just for a minute, forever. Okay? I love you, Charlie. I love you, too. That was nice, but also, holy shit, there's a lot of traumatic things that have happened to these people, and it's not fun. Look who's here. Who is that? Hey, oh, big brother. Hey. <laughs> oh. Come on, I got dinner ready. Please, you know, we're like, we're like halfway through the movie. I, I need something terrible to not happen, okay? I'm going to get your birthday present. <laughs> How are you feeling, Charlie? Is it bad tonight? No, I'm not picturing things anymore. No, if I do, I can just shut it off. Well, you know, Mom did say that you have good friends now. Especially Sam. She's great. I'm gonna ask her out at New Year's. And I think the time's right now. That makes me so sad. I, I mean, we don't know exactly like what's going on with him at this point, but it's definitely something, you know, mental and something traumatic happened previously and it has to do with his aunt and... Oh, shit. No. I don't How like it. just take the work? I do not like, oh. Oh. No. Did your older friends pressure you? No one pressured me. Oh, shit. Um, oh, 
goodness. God, I knew, it, of course, something bad had to happen to the damn aunt. I've called him 30 times. Well, what are we supposed to do? We're going on in 10 minutes. Craig has flaked out on us again, so I need a Rocky. Charlie, take off your clothes. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> Unbelievable. If you heard of the Sadie Hawkins dance, would you maybe want to go with me? You want to go with me? Oh. Sorry, Craig couldn't come. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I don't think this is going to be ending well. Where are your parents? Her club's hosting a cotillion or something racist. <laughs> something don't racist. Don't be nervous. Oh, no. Well, if she didn't kiss him before, this would have been his first kiss. And I don't know if it's... I don't know if he likes her. I don't think so. Oh. Charlie. You of all people. I just can't believe you're my boyfriend. Uh, what? Wait. Wait. When did Shit. they... My parents! Oh, oh. Dear friend. Oh no. When did Sorry, that Sorry I haven't written for a while, but Oh boy. Things are a total disaster. Yeah. I probably should have been honest about how I didn't want to go out with Mary Elizabeth after Sadie's, but I really didn't want to hurt her feelings. And I had to admit something really upsetting, but I'm tired of touching her boobs. <gasps> I just wish I could have found another way to break up. In hindsight, I probably could not have picked a worse way to be honest with Mary Elizabeth. Truth or dare? Oh, no. Let's think. Charlie. Uh, Truth. How's your first relationship going? It's so bad that I keep fantasizing that one of us is dying of cancer so that I don't have to break up with her. Charlie. Truth or dare? Uh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I really thought he. Dare? Oh. Okay. Oh I dare my you God. To kiss the prettiest girl in the room, on the lips, and notice I charitably said girl. This uh, is not girl. good. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Hey, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. You really are mean, dumb. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, that was really stupid, bro. Oh, no. You heard from Patrick? No, he told me to stay away. Oh, you don't know. Why? Why? What happened? Brad's father caught them together. Oh, <gasps> no! Some kids jumped him up. <gasps> no, it was some kids running with hills. Are you okay? Uh, not now, Charlie. I'm sorry. Fuck, dude! Come on! Hey, nothing. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna flip or something at some point. Oops. Oh. Sorry, nothing. Holy shit. You gonna do anything? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your pet ape just tripped me. This is pathetic, man. Your fixation on me. Do you want your friends to know you got those bruises? Really? I got jumped in a parking lot. Do your friends I don't know, know what kind of sick shit you're trying to pull, but you better walk away right now. Oh. Whatever. Oh, you should have left the conversation there, you fucking idiot. What did you just call me? He's called you. Patrick! Oh, oh no. Stop. Oh, shit. Oh, good lord. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Touch my friends again and I'll blind you. Okay. You know what? Good for you. Fuck it. Good for you. Oh my god. How you doing, Charlie? I keep trying, but I you know I can't really remember what I did. You saved my brother. That's what you did. Can we be friends again? Of course. Oh. 
God damn, dude. It's heavy. There's a lot of heavy oh things in this. It's really good, though. Hey, do you want to get out of here? Sure, Patrick. There's this one guy. Queer as a $3 bill. $3 bill? The guy's father doesn't know about his son. He comes into the basement one night when he's supposed to be out of town. Catches his son with another boy. So he starts beating him. Hmm. And the boyfriend says, stop, you're killing him. But the son just yells, get out. Eventually, the boyfriend just did. Man. Forget it. I'm free now, right? I just need to meet a good guy. Yeah. Oh, no. Patrick. And Sam got her letter from Penn State. I hired you to take our summer session at the main campus immediately following your high school graduation. Wow. Yay! Good. I'm glad. Alice did get into NYU film school. Wow. Patrick is going to the University of Washington because he wants to be near the music in Seattle. <laughs> it all feels very exciting. I just wish it were happening to me. Yeah. Especially because ever since I blacked out in the cafeteria, it's been getting worse. Oh. And I can't turn it off this time. Now, who here is going to read for pleasure this summer? Charlie. Very good. This girl needs to leave. She needs to get, like, honestly, she needs to get decked in the face. Low key. Honestly. I'll do it. Oh, my God. All done. There was this beautiful sunset. And just a few hours before, everyone I love had their last day of high school ever. Mm. I kept imagining what school would be like without them as they were all getting ready for their prom. And then there was Sam. I've looked at her pictures since that night. I like to see how happy she was before she knew. They were in a hotel suite after prom. Before and she came knew? Out. What? Basically, Craig has been cheating on Sam the whole time. Just to go. She made Fucking it. Craig! This is her time. Asshole. Ugly ass Craig. I, you know, I knew there was something off with him. Why do I and everyone I love pick people who treat us like we're nothing? Well, we accept the love we think we deserve. There you go. Then why didn't you ever ask me out? Oh, girl, wait, huh? I mean, it's a good question in all honesty, but you're kind of with someone. If you knew the things that, uh, that were in my head most of the time, you'd know what it really meant, how, how much we're alike, and, and how we've been through the same things. And, and you're not small, you're beautiful. Ah, my heart, there's that confidence you needed. Ah. What's wrong, Charlie? Nothing. Oh man, what happened? Oh. Wrong Charlie. Huh. What happened there? Don't wake your sister. But it'll be our little secret, okay? Fuck. My heart. My heart. Oh my heart. It'll be our little secret, okay? I love it. getting my birthday present, so I guess I killed her, right? Die. Call the police and send them to my house. Stop her. What if I wanted her to die, Candace? What? Charlie? Charlie! No, 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 no. Charlie? I'm Dr. Burton. Where am I? Mayview Hospital. How, how do you stop seeing it? Seeing what, Charlie? There is so much pain, and I, I, I don't know how to not notice it. 
What about your Aunt Helen? Yeah. You said some things about her in your sleep. I, 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 don't, I don't care. So no one knows. If you want to get better, my God, you have to. I was in the hospital for a while, and I will say there were some very bad days and some unexpected beautiful days. Mm -hmm. The worst day was the time my doctor told my mom and dad what Aunt Helen did to me. Oh my God, oh my God. My doctor said we can't choose where we come from, but we can choose where we go from there. I know it's not all the answers, but it was enough to start putting these pieces together. Can Charlie come out and play? Oh, yay. I found the tunnel song. Let's drive. I know these will all be stories someday, and our pictures will become old photographs. And we'll all become somebody's mom or dad. But right now, these moments are not stories. This is happening. I am here, and I am looking at her. And she is so beautiful. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. <laughs> oh my god. Teared up like three times here at the end. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything hurts, but everything is also just... Okay, that, okay. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that a lot. And it was just such an, a roller coaster of up and down. And it got super heavy and emotional in the last 15 minutes. And like, I literally, oh, I, I was very close to... to Full on crying, but I teared up a few times. Uh, this was really good. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect, but this really blew any sort of expectation that I did have, which again, I have no idea. Like, I never have necessarily an expectation of a movie, but it blew any expectation of, of how I was gonna like this movie out of the water. This was fantastic. This was very much a feel good but also super emotional and even sad film as well if i were to compare this definitely with something that i've seen and that is more recent even though this isn't old by any means i would say this kind of reminds me a little bit of euphoria the series uh with zendaya it kind of just has that same feel to it uh, that's just something that I kind of realized when watching it, you know? It's about high schoolers and it's just emotional and, and crazy things happen and, and it really takes kids who are in high school, which you kind of typically think of just, oh, they're kids, you know? They're all just dumb and, you know, they're not... I guess in a way, like, I feel like people kind of view high school students as just, like, super mature and, you know, they have no idea what they're doing and they're kind of just, like there you know but like things like this movie and things like euphoria and so on they really just kind of give life to who i feel people consider just i don't know even like jokes in some way like you know i'm not in high school i'm 25 i'm past my high school days i'm past my college days but i can still say that with the fact that like things like this make high schoolers and and people who are of that age more human I guess. This was really, really good though. I, God, there was so much trauma with s the main characters, especially like things that they literally went through and it was hell that what they went through. Patrick, Sam, and Charlie all went through fucking insane things and just terrible things. During that one moment that was like, the flashback for when Charlie was talking to his aunt in the middle of the, I guess the street for whatever reason. And she said that, oh, I'm going to get you your birthday present. And then it came back to it like, like 20, 30 seconds later. And it said, it'll be our little secret. I was like, 
Hmm. Uh, I, I don't like that. I don't like what she just said. And then they kind of just left that alone for a while until the end again. And it just hit like a truck. I mean, there was that little hint there and I was kind of thinking like, mm, don't like that. And again, it just right in those that last 15, 10, 15 minutes, it just really just just fucked you up. And even towards the end when it was starting to come to light, like that was the situation that happened. At first I'm like, like you can see it in my face. I'm literally just like processing it like, fuck, I literally went like that. Like, <laughs> so all of that was super intense and emotional and just an absolute roller coaster of everything. I actually really loved Ezra Miller's character in this. I haven't really seen him in anything else, but I really did enjoy his character and the things that happened with him in this. I even really enjoyed like Emma Watson and her character as well. I mean, her character went through Helen back as well, just like the other two, but... And Charlie. I mean, Charlie kind of just grew on you as you watched this film and by the end of it I was just so enamored or entranced or whatever word you want to use just watching everything kind of unfold and it was just so much. I am so happy that it didn't end with him killing himself because that would have just been so sad and unfortunate and I just it would have been so bad. I'm genuinely so happy for this character to have the friends that he has even though now they're gonna be away to college. I mean like that's a friendship that's in even I guess even a relationship that I don't think will end. So it's crazy because you have all these characters going through so much it currently in within the film itself and in their past and there's so many emotions that come with that but there's also like these really fun and nice moments as well. It was a very up and down roller coaster of emotion and I just, I really loved this. I genuinely, genuinely enjoyed myself throughout the entire film. I really, really loved this. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction to this movie as well. If you did enjoy this reaction, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you wanted to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. To those of you who are already on my Patreon, thank you so much for being there. Thank you so very much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the extra content over there, including those full unedited reactions and the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, but I'm mainly over on Twitch and streaming over there. And thank you so very much to Ian Forbes for subscribing at that level five tier over on Patreon and requesting this movie for me to watch. Again, I absolutely enjoyed watching this film between the fun moments and all the absolute emotional moments. It was a really good film and I loved it. And again, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction as well. And I shall see each and every single one of you in the next one. Okie dokie, toodaloo. Adios and goodbye.